welcome back to my channel bubble pop here and it is squishy shopping time let's do it and we're kicking off the show of squishiness with the peanut butter jelly we're doing the squishy and this amazing putty now this is something i've never seen i've never heard of it it's called putty sense pb and j smash and sniff that is so so funny and i think it comes in a lot of other scents there's two different ones in here. I think you're supposed to like swish them together. Look at this, Putty Sense Mashups PB&J lets you combine two scents of putties into one ultimate flavor. Check this out, I can't wait. Ooh, whoa, you guys, I could smell this from here. Whoa, this smells like pure peanut butter. And look at this, they have the jelly. <laughs> cannot even believe it. So we got two different packets. This actually looks a little bit more like caramel than it does peanut butter, but it smelled, I mean the smell, you cannot even believe how strong it is. Two distinct scents. This smells almost like a, a grape lollipop and just peanut butter. So I guess we're gonna open them and curious how they feel. They feel a little bit like slime, even more than putty. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> It totally looks like a big old piece of caramel. It doesn't even look like putty. Wow, look at that. Funny thing is, it has like a little bit, I don't want to say oily, but it has some kind of like a peanut oil on it. It makes your hands smell like peanut butter. That is so amazing. And this is like the perfect putty. It's stretchable. It's got that little snappy sound. Wow, that is so crazy. And we've got to open the jelly up. Let's see it. Wow, this doesn't look exactly like the jelly. It looks, you know what it almost looks like? A piece of like a taffy. Ooh, and look at this. It's iridescent. Look at that. It's got a really, really cool shine to it. it smells so good. It smells exactly like a grape lollipop. Wow. Peanut butter and jelly bubble. Peanut butter jelly. And just squish on these all day. They are so soft. You know, it's kind of funny. If you've ever had the Crazy Irons Thinking Putty that comes in these little tins, they're kind of hard. They're a little bit stiff. You gotta work them in. These are just so fresh. I don't know if they just made them. They are so smooth and soft and literally almost feel like you have like bubble gum or taffy in your hands. Really, really easy to work with. But I love this smell a little bit more just because it smells like peanut butter. But this is so pretty, you guys. It is so amazing to look at. It's got all these little pink and purple swirls. There's even like a little bit of green in there, like iridescent, almost like galaxy. And basically what you're supposed to do is just swirl them together and mash them. Let's do it. We got both of these scents all mashed up. Wow, I was not expecting it to look like that. You know what it looks like, you guys? The goobers, the mix of the peanut butter and jelly in the jar, and it smells divine. It's just making me want a sandwich right now. Just gonna twist it a little bit more. I don't wanna twist it too much. I'm afraid I'm gonna put the two colors together and then it's gonna turn green or like a swampy color. This time for the sandwich. And I've had this for so long, I haven't opened it. I think today is like the perfect time just to compare them. Ooh, look at that goodness. You got the crust. Ah, so soft. I don't know if these are scented. This 
is unreal. We got the putty, we got the matching squishy here. It's so funny because the squishy looks exactly like the little sandwich on this tin. It's just too adorable for words. The only thing is I wish it was scented. It doesn't really smell, but it's super soft. Slow rising, adorable. I think I like them both the same, but I'm super curious, which ones do you like better? The squishy or your putty mesh up? on the testing table we got the slime mesh ball yes this looks so so cool you guys it's got glitter in there little pieces of blue glitter and it is just so soft to squeeze I think I found this at the dollar store for like a buck and it's seriously mesmerizing they have them in all different colors I went for this blue one it kind of reminds me of a pool <laughs> so so squish sure by now you guys know there's so many different ways to cut these you could take off the mesh and like cut the ball I am just gonna squeeze it and pop these little bubbles here let's do it Ooh, look at that definitely not a water one this is slime I can feel it If we can squeeze out the excess, I'm just gonna pop off this little mesh here. And basically, inside of here, it's just like a rubber ball. I think we got most of it out. Ooh, look at this. Glitter slime. This stuff is unbelievable. It's so stretchy. It's so pretty to look at. Really fun to squish on and it's kind of funny. Do I like it in the mesh ball or do I like it like this? I think I like it like this a little bit more. You could play with it. You could stretch it out. Love it. The bubblies. I have been waiting for one of these for so long and I finally found one at Walmart. They're actually by the Orb Factory. They make lots of slimes and other kind of squishies. And look at this thing. I got the strawberry. This was the only one I found there. Look how cute it is. It's got almost like a Shopkins face. Definitely filled with Orbies. That's what it feels like. And the cool thing about these, you guys, look at this. It reveals three secret charms. So there's little charms in there. And you're supposed to squish it and look for them. But basically, I got my shijis. We're going to chop it open. Let's do it. Before we start chopping, look at this. Squeeze to reveal the hidden charms. And it says, how rare are your charms? So I guess we have like different ones. Common, rare, ultra rare. Kind of like Shopkins a little bit. Let's see. to chop this thing and get our little charms out and squish on all the Orbeez. But you guys, look how cute this is. It's got like little bunny ears. It's got this adorable little stem. Really, really cute. And I love the face. It's winking. 
amazing. Shepherd's arm. And the scene is set. I got my bowl here. I'm gonna chop open this little strawberry face and I just gotta catch all these Orbeez and I've got to get those little charms out of there. I don't know what they are. So cute. Let's do it. Oh, she still actually looks cute. You guys, if you were curious what was in the bubblies, here we go. We got a bunch of bubbly Orbeez. They're kind of like a hot pink color. And I definitely saw the little charms pop out of there. There were three of them. They are just so tiny. Would you look at these things? What is it? Hmm. Uh, I thought they were supposed to have like little pictures. It, you know what? It just looks like a clown face. It looks like a little face with a nose. These are so cute. They actually are the same size as Orbeez and they're squishy. Let's chop it. Let's see. Ooh, just like a little rubber, like a little silicone piece. Love it. mixed feelings about this you guys because I totally liked the Orbeez in this little strawberry a little bit more than I like them in the bowl but I had to chop it I was super curious but the other ones I get I'm definitely not gonna chop them because these are the coolest and you could see it's just like a really thick clear rubber super stretchy I love it and let's see what other charms we got I think I saw like a birthday hat Bingo. Second charm, looks like it's a little party hat. Look how cute that is. It's got like little um, little decorations on it. But I do have to say you guys, if you ever get one of these bubblies, do not chop it. They are so much better in like one piece. And these little charms are so cute. And if you squeeze them enough, you could definitely see the charms through the squishies. Through your Bubble, you're squishing it to an ice cream charm. Chop it. The last little squishy we had was super cute. This is going in the weird category. This is like the weirdest thing I've ever seen. We get the Pollywog Petri dish, and that's like exactly what it is. It's like a little Petri dish with a frog and tadpole slime. And you could see these little tadpoles in there. They look so, so cool. Grows fun. Play with your frog and tadpoles. Let's do it. little frog in there. This looks like ooze. It totally looks like ooze. Super curious what the texture is going to be. Definitely have not seen anything like it. Ooh, ooh, those little eggs. Those little tadpole fishy eggs. There's bubbles. What is this? <laughs> ooh. Oh, bubbles don't let the tadpoles get away. The baby tadpoles. Look at them. Jiggly, jiggly bubble. Jiggly, jiggly. Wasn't 
too sure how I was gonna like this. You guys, I love it. This stuff is awesome. Not the traditional slime, but it's kind of like this oozy, plasticky material. And look at those little tadpoles. They almost look like eyeballs. They are so weird. I don't even know what they're made of. They're like, they're like little rubber. What is it? Got one. It's basically like a little rubber egg. It is so cool. It's like an oozy eye. Tons of them in there. They almost look like little ants or bugs. And this stuff is so, so cool. It's so cold. Nice. Get your stretchy frog. This thing is so squishy. It's stretchy. Look at that little thing. Got to chop it. It's crunchy. <laughs> Squishy surprise. We got a little soft and slow squishy blind box. Why not? I thought might as well throw it in here. And these are so cute. Look at all these little characters. They all pretty much seem like animals, like little fish, little bunny. And I think the actually only one I have is the cat, that orange cat. She what we get. Oh, oh I think it's like another kitty. Look at that. It's a puppy, not a kitty. So soft. Ah! Yeah, not too sure what I was thinking. You guys, I think it is a puppy. Look at this little puppy in the corner. That is the kitty. It's definitely a puppy dog. And these are so adorable. They're not scented, but they almost feel like a Play-Doh. They are so soft. It's like a piece of clay. Normally, I would never chop up such an adorable squishy, but you guys, I am super curious. Inside of this, like, squishy foam, is it going to be white or is it going to be green? I'm just really, really curious. So I got my shishies. Let's find out. is chopped up. You guys, I was just so curious. Oh, it is white. I thought maybe it would be green. You know what's so funny? It almost looks like the inside of an apple with the white and then the green skin. And it is soft. I can't even describe it. It's like a really, almost like a, a dough. Not even like a foam. I was always curious. What is in these soft and slow squishies? And now I know. Squishy dough. Now we try to put it together. Yeah. Rather squishy people, that is a wrap for this video. We have so many cool ones, you guys. I think my absolute, absolute favorite was that PB&J putty. It's so cool. It just totally looks like the real deal. It smells like it. And I love the bubblies. That was amazing. So many Orbeez in there. This little tadpole slime was super cool, kind of different. And now that you guys have seen every single thing here, I'd love for you to leave me a comment and let me know what was your fave? If you guys want to see more cutting open squishies, all you have to do is go to the playlist link in my description. Right in the description, there's a link, probably about 200 of them in there. Lots of slime, lots of different squishies. And if you want to see similar vids, click here on the left. If you want to subscribe to Bubble Pop Kids, click this big blue bubble with the french fries. And I will see you in my next video. Love you! See you later.